Hey, good morning, guys. Hope y'all are doing well. Hope your Sunday's going great for you. Hope you're having a good weekend. Today's a special day in my place. It's uh, Sunday. That means we're going to church. It's also my anniversary. So, darling, I know you don't watch these videos and you think this hobby's kind of funny, but I'll tell you, I love you, babe. Here's to 50 years. So, today's razor is going to be the uh, gym push button. May have to change blades mid shave. I'm not sure how many shaves they have on this blade, but we'll find out. Uh, so for today, morning toast. That's uh, the original safety2.com, all one word. It's the forum I preach about. Go on over there, tell them I sent you. They won't let you in the door, but they won't give you a hard time either. Uh, after shave, Barbasol Brisk, because I like a menthol, because it's about 10,000 degrees outside, humidity. So yeah, we're gonna go with that. Uh, brush is going to be a uh, Samoga. It's an Excelsior brand. I do not remember the number. I can barely remember what I had for lunch yesterday. So, with all that being said, let's go ahead and knock this shave out. Just out of the shower, face is good and hydrated. Hair is done in case you are wondering. You know, I got that under, under control for today. Uh, we do have the scuttle standing by. Brush has been soaking in a, a cup of hot water because I don't fill up the sink. As you can see, here's the brush. Here's the soap. Some of us from over on Toast have been putting them in our uh, Old Spice mugs. I take it out after this, dry it off, put it back in the bag with the uh, label on it. That way it'll retain the smell. This is a lime, ginger, and bergamot smell. It's wonderful. The ginger hit me first, and then I got the taste of that lime, and i would definitely be playing around with essential oils, that's for sure. In case you don't already know or you've been living under a rock, uh, this soap was made by uh, Vintage Life. It's a member over on the uh, forum. It's his second soap. I had his first one. I have his first one. It's a very good soap as well. You can see we've got the brush fairly loaded. There is some pro lather on the uh, soap. We're just going to take that off. Work that in. I don't know if this counts as a pre-shave or not. I didn't check with the cartel first. But I think we'll be all right. What do y'all think? All right, right into a face lather. Now, one thing I can tell you uh, on this soap. First, it seems like it's not going to get there. And then through the uh, judicious use of adding a bit of water here and a bit of water there, it will make a lather. And today's lather is not going to be a thin... Uh, film lather, we're going to make a bubbling lather, overflowing lather, a thick, creamy, cushiony lather, because some people out there seem to have the idea that, that I can't, so we're going to change that today. So, I hope you guys are having a great Sunday, like I already said, I hope you're having a great weekend, I uh, hope the weather's doing good where you are. For uh, my family and friends out in uh, Arkansas, Oklahoma, they're dealing with the flooding right now. Yeah. I've been there before, guys. I definitely feel your pain, and y'all are more than welcome to send any of that rain down here to Texas, I promise. There we go. So as you can see, with just a, a bit of judicial adding of water, it makes a very nice lather. Very nice lather on the brush. Very nice lather on the face. And while scent is not a ingredient in performance, a nice scent on my anniversary is not bad. I wonder what the poor folks are doing today. There we go. All right, we're gonna put that into our or on top of our uh, scuttle that we have because it's not a brush scuttle; it's just a regular scuttle. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started with this shave. Here's the razor. We're gonna go ahead and warm that up. After we've done that, we're gonna put a little more water in the in the mug. And there you have it. first pass. And 
and just as I suspected, this blade is bad, which is okay. It happens sometimes, especially in this hobby. I forget how many shaves I have on blades, and I've got blades sitting around, and I forget. So, new blade in, right back to the shave here. There we go. So for those new folks that are wondering how you can tell when it's time to change a blade. Well, the way I do it, the way I can tell, is when it starts to hurt to take the whiskers off. And what I mean by that is, you can feel it pulling the hair instead of cutting the hair. Y'all hang out for just a second, I'll be right back. I apologize technical difficulties this morning all right anyway so as i was saying when it feels like it's pulling the hair out instead of cutting the hair that's when you know it's time to change razor or change blades if you get that consistently from a particular razor that's definitely a sign that you need to adjust your technique so as you can see boom already first pass done the push button is a mild shaver, but that's not always a bad thing. People seem to put a lot of stock into a mild or an aggressive or an efficient razor. Can you still get a good shave from any blade and any razor? Yes. Will it be the most efficient? Will it be the easiest? Maybe, maybe not. Depends on your technique. But any of them will work, I guarantee it. All right. I really like this little uh, Samoa brush. A uh, very kind member that's no longer active over on uh, Toast sent it to me. Shame. I hate it when people disappear, but life happens sometimes, right? I'm going to do something that y'all may think is against the rules. I'm going to go back to the puck and we'll reload again. It's not against the rules I checked. It's not in the cartel's book at all. They don't even recognize it. So if the cartel don't recognize it, it counts. This soap was, uh, like I said, manufactured, made, however you want to say it, by uh, Dan over at Vintage Life. But the members over on uh, the forum chose the scent. And gave them options, let them decide what they wanted or what we wanted. And then he did it, and it turned out great. He also did a black licorice that I'm saving for use down the road because I like that soap smell. All right, so I know some of y'all get a thicker, creamier lather than that, but for me, that's a thick and creamy lather and I like it. All right, second pass. was supposed to have had physical therapy this week on my shoulder. However, that did not happen. So, we get to wait another week. Yay! People ask, people, uh, ask sometimes, going back to the uh, shipping questions, 
And people ask whether you should take long strokes, short strokes, buffing, hey, it's your shave, you do what you do, all right? You gonna take a long stroke, take a long stroke. You gonna take a short stroke, take a short stroke. If you wanna use some buffing techniques, use some buffing techniques. If you wanna do the gym slide, do the gym slide. It don't matter, it's your shave. It'll work for you. I can tell you with generality, but not specifics. Generally, mustache area, probably a good idea to take short strokes. I'm just saying. Yeah. That's my tip for y'all for the day. There you go. All right, third pass. This will be a extra cleanup, touch up, pick up, pass, however you want to call it, whatever terminology or phrasing you choose to use. We will be doing the full three shade and the pass, and the pass today. Got that all over the dead bill ear. Did you see that? Just all over the ear. I already had my cup of coffee for this morning, so I'm sorry I didn't get that on camera. That was community coffee with uh, chicory. If you haven't had chicory, you should get some for your coffee. If you haven't had community coffee, you should get some with chicory. There you have it. I know this is a little bit longer video probably than most of them, but I'm enjoying y'all being here and I'm enjoying today's shape. There we go. Don't be afraid to add more water. Don't be afraid to go back to the puck, okay? It's not the end of the world if you have to do either one of those. It's not. Okay, this ain't professional shaving. This ain't professional NASCAR, all right? We're shaving. It ain't rocket science. Like I said, okay, even though the push button is considered by many to be a very mild razor, the proper angle, proper technique, proper pressure, you can make it a good shave. Will you get a two pass or a one pass BBS? Probably not. Is it worth chasing the baby with this razor? My opinion, yeah. You can chase the baby with this razor and you'll be just fine. But then again, I also eat ketchup and my mashed potatoes, so you may not want to take my advice. If you notice right there, okay, I changed directions because the growth changes right there. Soap's got good residual slickness to it, whatever that means. I think that's something you're supposed to say in a video, right? Okay. Yeah. 
post shave feel is awesome. Yeah, don't don't get caught up, guys. Okay, in the buzzwords that are out there, and there's a lot of them that are being used right now. And the thing is, okay, it's all subjective, 100% subjective. What I like is me. What you like is you, unless you're Mustin Williams, in which case nobody likes that. That's 15 demerits. You have to say five hell, uh, hell, hell Williams for that. So. But other than that, there's nothing scientific about post-shave feel. There's nothing scientific about residual slickness. There's no scientific way that soaps are rated. And there's no standard by which to raise or to rank a soap <coughs> on a purely, purely subjective, I'm sorry, purely objective standard. It's not possible. So, having said that, find someone that has the same preferences as you, watch their channel, see what they think. If it works for them, it'll probably work for you, but remember, it's all subjective. Touch up, see you. you guys enjoy the rest of your week if y'all like these kind of videos and you're still watching number one thank you number two uh, I see that I have lost two subscribers oh no whatever will I do with thy with thyself y'all I'm not in it to gain subscribers I'm not in it to pick up brand endorsements or have free stuff sent to me. I mean, what I'm doing. I could do that. And I could make it like that, but that ain't my goal. Okay, my goal is, is now and always has been and always will be to show you guys that it ain't rocket science. Okay, it's just not. To get one little weep or probably while I was talking instead of paying attention. There we go. We'll wipe the face off. There you have it. And go with the Barbasol Brisk Aftershave. Sadly now discontinued. Which is usually how that works. As soon as you get to liking something, they discontinue it, right? Anyway, this has been a little bit longer video, so I'm going to shut up now. Um, appreciate you guys watching. Appreciate y'all sticking around. And uh, thanks again, Dan. Appreciate the soap. It's great stuff. you got an on-point recipe. Hope you guys have a great day. Enjoy talking to you. Always enjoy seeing y'all. Remember, shave on.